And we're talking to Angie Elspa. So talk to me a little bit about EZR Equine. How's okay. everything been going? Well, it's always fast and furious in the rescue world. Um, but we do operate um, EZR Equine Rescue. My husband and I founded it in 2009. And we started out slowly with just a few rescue horses, and we have worked our way up to a pretty much a full-time nonprofit organization. So we take in horses that are needy in some form or fashion, uh, most of them needing rescue from abuse or neglect or being displaced for some reason. And we mm-hmm. provide rehabilitation services and with the hope that we can eventually place them in an adoptive home. Oh my goodness. My own heart is right there. And I've worked with rescue horses mm-hmm. and I'm so glad to to be able to do some work with you. Yes. And you guys are remarkable with Thank all you. that you've Thank done. Thank you. Appreciate that. Absolutely. So you have a big event coming up. We do. Um, it is our fifth annual Heroes for Horses fundraising event. And it is two weeks from today, September 29th. And it's going to be at 630 at Eberly Brooks Event Center. Yeah, and beautiful if, place. It is beautiful. It is, if somebody doesn't know where that county road is, because I can't even remember the county road, it's just one mile north of Friendship High School from that intersection at 82nd and 179. You just go north on 179 for a mile, and um, it sits over there on the right-hand side, and it is beautiful. Mm-hmm. And we just have a blast. Chad Prather is going to be our host for the second year he in a so row. Mm-hmm. He is wonderful. He's super gracious and accommodating and hysterical and just makes the evening a lot of fun. And we have lots of shopping opportunities with the silent auction and live auction and oh. great food. Um, Market Street is our platinum sponsor this year nice. and they have been um, just wonderful to work with. And so they have worked up a a, a fabulous menu for the evening Wonderful. and yeah so everybody needs to bring uh lots of money because we also have a lot of local businesses who have been generous and donating silent auction items live auction items we'll have a raffle um drawing that evening door prizes open bar i mean there's really no reason not to go nice <laughs> And Gary Nix. And, and Gary Nix, yes. And he is, I just love Gary. And um, he and Chad were great together last year. Chad got up there and sang a few songs with the band. And he just, he plays just great country dance music. Music you can get out there and, you know, mm-hmm. boot scoot too. So it was great. It I, was great, yes. I was so glad to have been able to be there mm-hmm. last year. And I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be great, yes. Well, this is very much needed. Yes. You know, once a year. You get out there mm-hmm. and you ask for help, and mm-hmm. these horses really need the help, and this they, is such a great event. I, yeah, and I don't think people understand probably what all financially goes into caring for horses. And there were times last year we had 20 horses at the rescue, and when you add up all the vet bills and the feed expense, um, in 2016 we spent $33,000 just in food i mean that's hay and grain (laughs) and Mm -hmm. so that's not including vet bills and um, maintenance like farrier and dentist and and all that kind of stuff so it definitely is our big push once a year to get people involved Um, and you know you don't even really need to know anything about horses to come and enjoy the evening i mean it's just a lot of fun and there will be something for everybody you don't have to be a cowboy or country or know anything about horses we've got we've got something for everybody so we definitely um want people to join us and you can find out a lot more on your website and your yes. facebook yes and um chad prather i've got a blog up for yes. you about him right now yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and really work hard to to give folks all the information they need so mm-hmm. that they can come out and support your yes. events because i appreciate that my heart is with y'all and oh. it's just really important yes it, it is it is a uh, you know it's real hard to understand what happens to a lot of these mm-hmm. horses mm-hmm. but they need us yes i mean let's face it these these horses they need us you yeah. know so and we're not as visible as like dog and cat rescues around town that you can take to pet smart and the adoption events at the local grocery stores and all the wonderful things in our community that happen with the dogs and cats because that's part of what we do as well personally but it's harder to get horses to places like that so we're not as visible um as like a dog rescue or horse rescue i mean a dog rescue or cat rescue in town so um again this is just a a night of fun and fundraising and and so come out and join us all right make your plans to join us thanks so much thanks jan i appreciate it yes ma'am